was Ye Flat Polonaise Opus 22, written by Frederick Chopin, who was born in Poland February 22nd, 1810. He was the son of a bookkeeper in a cigar factory. His works include barcarolles, ballads, mazurkas, etudes, and nocturnes, the best known of which is his famous funeral march. Correct, Mr. Doubleday. Absolutely correct. I, uh, <laughs> I guess, I guess the laugh is on me. Uh, each week I feature an impromptu interview with someone who is a little bit out of the ordinary. This week I have brought to our program our friend Mr. Doubleday here. Mr. Doubleday, ladies and gentlemen, is an information clerk in a railroad station. The popular belief has it that you never can get information from an information clerk. But Mr. Doubleday is the exception that proves the rule. He knows everything. How do you do it, Mr. Doubleday? Oh, I just read books and remember everything I read. You uh, are not getting your answers out of that book, are you? Oh, this? Yes. No, sir. You see, I'm studying up on my army regulations. I leave for camp day after tomorrow. Oh, I, uh, I see. I figure the army is just like anything else. If you want to amount to something, you have to study. You mean to say you can read that and answer these questions at the same time? Oh, yes, sir. It just comes natural. Amazing, Mr. Doubleday. You're truly amazing. Uh, here's one, Mr. Doubleday, that I think will stick you. Uh, uh, what is a tinker's dam? Now, for example, suppose I say, I don't care a tinker's dam for all the tea in China. In medieval England, traveling tinkers used to kick a hole in the ground in which to store their molten metal while using it to mend cooking vessels. When the tinker was finished, the hardened lead was removed, and the dirt form, or dam, was then useless. Hence the expression for any useless article, a tinker's dam. You, Mr. Cardigan, are undoubtedly a coffee drinker, so you wouldn't give a tinker's dam for all the tea in China. Mr. Doubleday, you confound me. You positively confound me. You seem to take the difficult questions right in your stride. Now, now look, I'll, I'll find an easy one for you. Uh, who discovered electricity? Benjamin Franklin in 1752, according to popular That's belief. That's correct, Mr. Doubleday. Absolutely correct. But then, of course, <laughs> it might have been too easy. Even I could answer that, folks. <laughs> I beg your pardon, Mr. Cardigan, but you're entirely mistaken. What? What I was going to say was that Benjamin Franklin in 1752, according to popular belief, was supposed to have discovered electricity. He'll never trip up Dodo. He knows everything. Oh, yeah? He didn't know enough to keep out of the draft. He didn't mind being drafted. He thought it was a wonderful idea. Dodo says it's the duty of every young man to be prepared. Oh, he's a sucker. They'll never get me. Boy, did I put one over on those army doctors. You know, the night before I had to take my examination, I smoked three or four great big black cigars. Then I ate a lot of ice cream and dill pickles. And then I got up and ran around the block three or four times. <laughs> Oh, boy, was I sick. <laughs> Say, the doctor took one look at me and said I was a walking corpse. He didn't know what was holding me up. Charlie, you ought to be ashamed of yourself. The honor of such an achievement should be divided between... We're a little late. Gentlemen Good night, folks. Come on, fellas, we're here. Snap into it. Accounted for, sir. Well, come on, fellas, line up. The first thing you have to learn in the Army is discipline. According to paragraph... Listen, you draft board's greatest blunder. You haven't drawn your uniform yet, and you want to play colonel. I give the orders around here. Get back in line. But, sir, I was just trying to help. Shut up! All right, men. Line up in two ranks. In case you don't know, that means one behind the other. In the army now. It's a great army. But you've got a lot to learn. Hey, you. Come in. Before you can give orders around here, you got to wear these. To get these, it takes years and years of hard work and experience. The way you've been popping off around here, 
You think you knew everything about this man's army? Oh, but Sergeant, I... Quiet! Now, if it wouldn't strain your mental capacities too much, and you could remember which is your right side, I'd like to have you right face! Forward! Hands! One, two, three, four! All right, men! Take it on, stomachs! Sergeant. That phonograph ain't run down a whole trip. Boys, chance I get, I'm gonna take that guy apart and see what makes him tick. He's been asking for a punch in the nose. I'll give it to him. Wait a minute, you'll take your turn like the rest of us. Gee, I'm gonna have a swell time in the army. You sure are, buddy. Hey, you tripped me. Well, off that rough stuff. Yo, get back in line. That's an order. Yes, sir. Hey, what? Go on. I said lay off that rough get stuff. Right. Hey, yo. All in with me. I'm supposed to get you to the barracks in one piece. Yes, sir. Now, men, when your names are called, answer promptly and take one step forward. Monkman. That's me. Occupation. Professional fighter. Was champion at Green Point. Until I got me fat. Cobb. What do you do? Oh, I do a little of this, a little of that, you know. Non soldier, you're doing a lot of this. Skivik. Yeah. What do you do? Nothing. Clary. I help him. Double day. Yes, sir? Occupation. Information clerk in a railway station. I also know all about the Army, too, sir. Oh, you do, huh? What's the position of a soldier at attention? With or without arms? Without arms. Infantry drill regulations, section 2, page 8, paragraph 16. Heels on the same line and as close to each other as the confirmation of the man permits. That's enough. Uh... What are the general orders for a soldier on guard duty? One, to take charge of my post and all government property in view. Two, to walk my post in a military manner, keeping always on the alert and observing everything that takes place with insider hearing. Three, to re That's enough. Get back in line. You're all wrong. Just a minute, Sergeant. He's right. Have you ever been in the Army? No, sir. Military school, ROTC? No, sir. I wasn't even in the Boy Scouts. Lieutenant Jennings, will you get Major Greer for me, please? Yes, sir. What is it, Caldwell? Would the Major listen to this man a moment, sir? What is the equipment of the infantry in action? Field Service Regulations, Chapter 2, Page 6, Paragraph 24. The principal offensive weapons are the machine gun, the rifle, the bayonet, its mortars, and... That'll do. Has Captain Ross Mead seen this man? Not yet. Call the captain. Yes, sir.
like you to question this man, Captain. He seems well versed in Army regulations. To find a theater of war. Field Service Regulations, Chapter 1, Page 4, Paragraph 14. A theater of war comprises those areas of land and sea which are or may become directly involved in the operations of war. May I have the Captain's permission to borrow a rifle? Soldier, give this man your gun. At ease. Attention. Forward. Arm. Left shoulder. Arm. Right shoulder. Arm. Right face. Left face. About face. About face. Forward. Arm. Inspection. Arms. Order. Are you a good marksman? I don't know, sir. I never handled a gun before. I practiced with a mop. Forward march! Forward march! That is an incorrect command, sir. A soldier cannot respond to the order of forward march from the position of parade rest. Can you recite the duties of a sergeant? Yes, sir, but I haven't time. What do you mean, you haven't time? Officer's call sounded five minutes ago, sir. You'll be late. He's good material. Send him to an uncom school. Carry on, Caldwell. Hartfield. Yes, yeah, sir. What do you do? Ah, uh, few. Malloy. I'm Malloy, and I fuge, too. A Malloy, eh? A Hartfield, uh, huh? Field. What the hell? Attention! I'm doing that! No. Come on, give it to me, quick, hurry up. Well, all right. Here you are, Sergeant. Thanks. Pardon me, sir. But these draftees are driving me nuts. If it's impossible for me to be transferred from Company F, sir, I'd like to return to the ranks. Are they as bad as all that, Sergeant? Yes, sir. Worse. Return to your quarters. We'll take the matter up later. Yes, sir. Sergeant Ames. Yes, sir. Take over Company F and teach them some discipline. Yes, sir. I'll whip them into shape, sir. Sergeant Doubleday reporting for duty, sir. You a sergeant? You mean you've completed your course at non-com school? Yes, sir. You see, I already knew the manuals for privates, corporals, and sergeants, infantry drill regulations, field service regulations, field service maneuvers, United States Articles of War, and Army regulations. So they just sewed these chevrons on me and sent me over here, sir. Uh, perhaps Sergeant Doubleday would be a very good man for Company F, sir. Yes, yes. You may be right, Sergeant. Sergeant Doubleday, you're assigned to Company F. You may start immediately by putting them through their paces. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. How do you like that? I've been in the Army 20 years. 10 years of hard work before I get these. And along comes that half-baked pismo clam who isn't big enough to flavor a chowder. He sits on his piazza and reads books all day, and they make him a top sergeant! Oh, beg your pardon, sir. That is, Sergeant. I know just how you feel. Thanks, sir. Get it in there now. Oh, <laughs> Nine's your point. Six. Six. Oh, I missed. <laughs> Attention! You're liable to fine or imprisonment or both for defacing government property. Oh, now, Dodo, we're, we're friends, ain't we? Quiet! Look who's talking. 
the two-legged book of rules. He's got more stripes than a zebra. That comes from being a mid-flopper. Man, I'm your new sergeant. So what? We've had lots of them. They come and they go. I ain't had a sergeant all day. Look, man, this is serious. Ha, ha, ha. All in. Attention! soldiers out of you men and I'm going to start right now be back here in two minutes with full packs overcoats and rifles that's all this bitch that's the way to handle them dominate them you're a sergeant now Oh, chevrons mean something. Don't let them get you down, Sergeant Doubleday. So, they got you talking to yourself, have they, Sergeant? my orders. Overcoats, rifles, and full packs. You didn't say nothing about pants or shoes. Not even socks. This is insubordination. Look, Sarge, you distinctly said overcoats, packs, rifles, and that's all. And here we are. We aim to please. The sergeant commands, we obey. Begging the Major's pardon, sir. We have a new sergeant in charge of Company F. He's drilling his men in rather unusual equipment. Might I suggest that the Major inspect them, sir? Where are they? Uh, right this way, sir. From the barracks, sir. You knew what I meant. Yes, yes indeed, sir. Silence in the rank. Now go on in and... What's the meaning of this, Sergeant? Where's your uniform? Well... You see, Major, it's, a, it's an awful long story. We were... We were only obeying the sergeant's orders, Major. 30 days in the guardhouse for you men. Sergeant, I'm afraid I'll have to break you for this. But, sir, I, I can explain. I took the liberty of experimenting with a minimum of equipment necessary in case of a surprise attack. Surprise attack? What good would these men be in warfare? They couldn't march like that. Pardon me, sir, but they're a hardy breed of men, sir. You see, they come from the Kentucky Hills and aren't used to wearing shoes. In fact, they can march much better without them. You don't say. Right shoulder up. Left face. Forward march.
but uh, could they keep it up for a full day's march? Oh, yes, sir. The Army is always ready for innovations. Keep on with your experiment, Sergeant. Let me know how it turns out. At sundown. Yes, Major. Oh. Pardon me, sir, but these draftees are driving me nuts. How about me dropping out for a while? Huh? Quiet. You heard what the Major said. We'll carry on till sundown. Oh, oh no, sundown. This is good. Well, Sergeant or no Sergeant, if I'm ever able to walk again, I'm going to butter that guy all over the parade ground. Who was the wise yap that dreamed up this idea, anyhow? And good. Men, your little prank has cost this outfit exactly 48 hours guard duty. Effective tomorrow morning. Let that be a lesson to you. Here, study this. Now, general orders for a sentry. And for once, try to conduct yourselves according to Army regulations. That's all. Why that little... Wait a minute. He's a zebra. Hey. Hey, you guys, come here. Come here, come here. Get a load of this now. Get in here close. It says right here. Now, now you listen to this. Patrols will cover their posts on... Come in here. Sit. Sit. Captain's orders. You to report the recreation hall at once. In service uniform with blouse. And that means every one of you. The girls of the Buddies Entertainment League are giving a dance. Oh, oh, no. oh I'm not that, Sarge. I can't dance. I can't even walk. With my sore dogs, they can't even dance with St. Vitus. You'll dance, soldiers, and like it. I won't like it. He won't like it. All right, you wise guys. Come over here and maybe you'll change your mind after you look out of this window. Oh, oh listen. All right, you've had your look. Come on, come on. Get in those uniforms. Hurry up. Get in those uniforms. Come on, get in those uniforms. Well, how do you like that? <laughs> Okay, buddy, on your way. Everything's hunky-dory here, too. That's the idea. Forward, Wellington. Who's the sergeant of the guard? Double A. Mm, I thought so. Pardon, sir. Might I inquire if the guard's been inspected? Inspected? Why? Sergeant Doubleday. Yes, sir? Has the guard been inspected? Not since I posted them, sir. Something wrong, Ames? Why, uh, that's a matter of opinion, sir. I suggest you inspect them yourself. This way, sir, this way. Ain't nothing cooking. Well, I'm going over to the cookhouse. See what's cooking there. This uh, wouldn't have happened in the old army, sir. Sergeant, how do you account for this? I, I, I can't, sir. I, I. Pardon me, sir.
Right, Gunner? I'll eat fine. Don't stand there grinning like an ape. Get in and stop it. Yes, sir. It says right here, sir, patrols will cover their posts on foot, mounted on animals, bicycles, motorcycles, and motor transportation. Right here. It also says that such means shall be prescribed by the officer of the day. And I'm the officer of the day. Your sense of humor will cost you 30 days in the guardhouse and 90 days pay. Sergeant Ames, place these men under arrest. Yes, sir. Gladly, sir. But, sir, these men aren't subject to arrest. You heard what I said. Yes, sir. Distinctly. But section 2, paragraph 15, page 14 of the basic field manual states that during the absence of the officer of the day, the sergeant shall perform his duties. I posted the guard during your absence, therefore I was in command, sir. Well... So you told them to patrol their post in that ridiculous manner? No, sir. But I didn't tell them not to, sir. And according to paragraph... Quiet! Three, I'm going to take this up with Major Greer. And you'd better be right, because if you're not, you'll be way past the retiring age when you get out of the guardhouse. <laughs> easy come, easy go. You know, Doubleday, when the Major hears about this, he's going to peel off your stripes just like... Detail dismissed. Look, it's uh, kind of tough, I know, losing your stripes, Sergeant, after you work so hard to get them, but... You're a right guy, Sergeant, sticking your neck out for us. Thanks a million. Oh, we've been a bunch of heels. You did it to get me in wrong, didn't you? I was only trying to make good soldiers out of you. You know, it's a privilege to be a good soldier. I... Ah, oh, forget it. Dodo, from now on, we're with you all the way, huh? You better... Yeah. Major Greer, Sergeant Doubleday said that... Just a minute, Captain. I don't know what Doubleday said, but if he said it, chances are he's right. But, Major... You wouldn't want me to find out that the Sergeant of the Guard is smarter than the officer of the day, now would you? No, sir. When did he get, sir? Leavenworth? Why don't you mind your own business? You mean he got away with it? What do you think? Detailing me to the to the dust bowl. But they'll hear from me. I promise you that. They'll hear from me. Colonel Mark, 
that the new post commander's here, sir, and he's fuming. Oh, Spitfire, huh? Yes, he hardly had his foot off the running board before he started yelling for the roads to be paved, the barracks to be painted, and the company street to be widened. And he just took the hide off a second lieutenant for not saluting promptly. <laughs> He'll have this camp on his toes from now on, and I don't know old Spitfire Barkley. He's a stickler for regulations for everyone but himself. The roof of the colonel's quarters is about to blow off, sir. He's due to make a speech at the broadcasting station in half an hour. He's screaming for an order. I'll send one immediately. I know what you're thinking, but don't say it. Please, sir. I've been a good sergeant for 10 years and never really ask a favor. I don't know. Once he starts giving the colonel paragraph so-and-so, section so-and-so, page so-and-so, old Spitfire, I'll peel him like a banana. Detail, Sergeant. Double day is Colonel Barkley's orderly. Thank you, sir. Pardon me, sir, but these draftees are... Why don't you watch where you're going, soldier? What am I? A colonel or a second lieutenant? Doesn't anybody know I'm here? Officers and men of the United States Army, we must face the facts. <laughs> Not bad. Oh. Oh, officers and men, men. Officers and, and men. Oh. Oh, why do I have to talk into one of these things? Officers and, and men of the of the United States Army. We must. We. Don't sneak up on me like that. I'm just reporting for duty, sir. Well, report out loud. Yes, sir. What do you want? I'm Sergeant Doubleday, assigned as your orderly, sir. Oh, you are, are you? Yes, sir. Well, understand this. When I give an order, I want you to jump. Not walk, jump. Get it? Yes, sir. Good. Don't forget it. Yes, sir. And stop that saluting. I've got arthritis. Yes, sir. Oh, officers. Are you afraid of one of those things? Afraid of a hairbrush, sir? That's not a hairbrush. That's a microphone, and every time I have to talk into one, I get, I get tongue-tied. Why not just ignore it, sir? Ignore it? I can ignore a vein of charge, but I cannot ignore that. It, it frightens me. It, it... Take my boots off. Yes, sir. Uh, begging the colonel's pardon, sir, but, but might I inquire how the colonel got his britches off over his boots? Yeah, well, well what? Well, they are off, aren't they? Yes, sir. Obviously. Oh. Why, oh, why do they put me on a national hookup? When I talk to troops, I like to talk right into their faces. Throw my words right into their teeth. Instead of that, I have to talk into a tin can. And frankly, Sergeant, I'm scared to death. Where are my trunks? Oh, if you look under your towel, sir, maybe you've got them on. What would... Not those, you silly numbskull. The trunks I carry my clothes in. Oh, yes, sir. I'll get them right away. You'll do nothing of the sort. Turn on my shower. Yes, sir. Six trunks of dress uniforms, and I have to wear that. Oh, uh, Colonel. What? Uh, your socks. What? Uh, well, well, I always wear my socks in the shower. Oh, isn't there any hot water in this dugout? Yes, sir, but you didn't give me a chance to turn it on. Well, sir. turn it on. Yes. Ah, what do you think you're doing? Boiling a lobster? Yes, sir. I mean, no, sir. I... Never mind, I'll adjust it myself. Cow. Hurry. and men of the 
United States Army. I wonder how I did get my breeches off over my boots. Jean, where did you come from? Uh, I'd say you look keen in that outfit. Do you like it? Oh, I should say. I couldn't think of a better way to be near my favorite soldier, so I joined the BEL. We're going to give parties and dances for the boys every week and... Why, Dodo, look at you. You're a colonel already. Oh, well, oh. you see, Jean... <laughs> oh, Dodo, I'm so proud of you. I knew you'd be promoted, but I wasn't expecting it so soon. Oh, well, it's just that... I... Look, Jeannie, if you don't mind, it's kind of late. Oh, I want to take you over to our headquarters and show you off to the girls. Oh, I can't right now, Jeannie. I'm awfully busy and... Nonsense. A colonel can do anything. I know that much about the Army. Colonel, you'll have to hurry. You're on the air in 15 minutes. On the air? Are you going to make a speech? Yes, miss. A national hookup. Oh, I don't know how wonderful. Oh, but... May I go, too? Uh, yes, of course. But every minute counts now. We must hurry. Oh, hurry, Dodo. Hurry. Orderly! Orderly! Where's my uniform? Where's my orderly? Where's everybody? Look, Jean, there's been a big mistake. Oh, there's Charlie. You, Charlie... Hey, did you see what I saw? Yeah. Or did I? What kind of an army is this? I told you, square-headed scissor bills, a thousand times that the piece is directly over the head. Now get it up there and keep it there. When you said the draftees are driving you nuts, and they are. Oh, look at... I wonder. Right through there. Just run a minute. You'll make it How are you, Colonel? Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. May I present the new commanding officer of Camp Carver. Officers and men of the United States Army. Let, it, let us look the facts squarely in the face. Look, fellas, I'm, I'm going to talk to you like a man of the ranks. To be truthful with you, I'd a lot rather be listening than talking. Well, here goes, anyhow. Fellows, it's... You're, you're in the army now. And, and it's a grand army. I know that some of you don't feel that way. I, I, I know that some of you don't feel it's fair. You've left good jobs to come and work for Uncle Sam for $21 a month. Well, we should be glad we've got an Uncle Sam to work for. Remember this. Washington gave up a good job when he went to Valley Forge. And so did other men. They didn't get $21 to give it up. 
There wasn't even $21 in the whole 13 colonies. And that's only about $1.65 per colony. The old man's got a sense of humor, huh? <laughs> that voice reminds me of somebody. Give me that stuff, soldier. Come to attention! I'm Colonel Barclay! Uh, huh? Oh. Yes, sir. Uh, Colonel Barclay, sir. I, I thought you were broadcasting, sir. How could I be broadcasting without any clothes? Find my orderly and you will find my uniform. Uh, yes, sir. I'll find him right away, sir. And when you do, bring him back alive. I personally want to shoot him at sunrise. Yes, sir. Did the government give Paul Revere taxi cab fare to take him to Lexington? They did not. He, he furnished his own horse. And the oats, too. He sounds almost human. Well, I didn't know the old buzzard had it in him. That's the kind of stuff to feed the troops. It means something. Captain Whispers either has But Captain no Rossmeet, sir. He has no but Captain Ross, quiet. And the fellow has something to say, and, and he's an American. He'll say it right out loud. In the words of John Paul Jones, we haven't begun to fight, but when we do, Zowie. I I thank you. Well, the old man really let his hair down. But, Captain... What is it? It's private, sir. Uh, pardon me, Captain. Would the Captain come outside? It's private. It's... it's... Great speech, the Spitfire, man. That's what I've been trying to tell you, Captain. That wasn't the Spitfire. It was Doubleday. What? You remember, I told you I saw him in the Colonel's uniform? Well, I did. I just left the old Spitfire in his quarters. Doubleday stole his uniform, went to the radio station, and delivered his speech. What could be sweeter? Now you've got him just where I want him. Are you sure of this? I'm positive. He just ordered me to bring him back alive. Come on. Well, aren't you boys proud of your new colonel? Oh, oh yes, yes ma'am. To the uh, colonel's quarters, driver. Right this way, Colonel. Gene, you better go back to town. There's a court martial I have to attend, and they can't hold it without me. Well, goodbye, and call me as soon as you're free. That may be never. No orderly, no nothing. I was never... Hmm. What are you doing in my uniform? It was this way, sir. Don't talk back to me! Answer! What are you doing in my uniform? I... Quiet! Take it off! Yes, sir. I'll answer it, sir. Come to attention, you bottleneck! I'll answer it, and don't you move. Hello! Colonel Barclay! Oh, Washington, put him on. Never in my life have I... Hello? Colonel Barclay? Oh, yes, General. Yes, sir. What? What speech? My speech? Did you make my speech? Yes, sir, but I couldn't help it. I, 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 I can explain that speech, sir. I... Uh... You did. You did. Timely, eh? Man to man. Uh, yes, hit the nail on the head. Oh, no, it was, you know, just one of those things. Uh, uh, just uh, on the spur of the moment. 
That is, Sergeant. Yeah, well, thank you, sir. Thank you very much, sir. Oh, it was recorded. Oh, well, I should like to hear. I mean, uh, 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 thanks for the compliment. Yes, goodbye, sir. Goodbye. Hmm. Begging the Colonel's pardon, sir, but according to military code, I am subject to fine or imprisonment or both for impersonating an officer. Nonsense, my boy. Rules of war are not made for men like us. Where'd you get that speech? Oh, I, I just made it up as I went along, sir. You mean made it up out of your own head? Yes, sir. Do you remember what you said in my speech? Every word, sir. Sit down. Sit down. Write it for me. I may need it again. Won't be long now. Only one thing that'll spoil my day. What's that? They might bury him with full military honors. Thank you, Sergeant. Thank you. What the Army needs is more soldiers like us. I was only doing my duty, sir. Captain, what do you mean assigning a soldier of this caliber to orderly duty? This man's being wasted. If there's anything you want, son, look me up. Thank you, sir. Get me another orderly! Sided paper picker, you! Pardon me, sir, but these draftees have driven me nuts. I can see that. What's the matter with you, Ames? An old campaigner like you going to seed. You. All right, shoulder. Oh. Look at my young friend Doubleday. There's a sergeant to be proud of. Look at his men. Beautifully drilled, like a well oiled machine. Left shoulder. Oh. No, no, no. Here, give me the gun. Now, you men watch me and do exactly as I do. Now, let's get it right. Right shoulder. 